shoot what's going on guys bit of an evening mission here we've only got a couple hours got about an hour walk um, bringing out the five foot ultralight if you know me you know that means there's gonna be trees involved we've got a little creek uh, it's a cypress creek it's in the woods full of cypress trees and super dark water creek one of the only uncanalized creeks in my area here in Orlando I've never fished it and it looks like an amazing redfin pickerel spot so I've got my Texas rig right here rigged up on this little five foot vintage ultralight. I've got some spinners in my pocket and some more plastics, but let's make our way down there and see if we can find some cool stuff, guys. Let's go. Guys, what I'm expecting here today is probably a lot of spotted sunfish, probably some monster spotted sunfish. And if I'm lucky, I'll get that pick roll. I know they're here. They're 100% in where I'm going, but they're in a lot of places I fish for them. It doesn't mean I'm gonna catch one. We'll see guys, we'll see. Wait. All right. We're here at the creek, right here to the left of me. There's an open barrier fence here. I don't know what these types of fences are here for, but it's not closed off completely, so. Cool, look at this. This is amazing, guys. This is everything I dreamed it would be. Wow, I am blown away. Um, as I said, guys, we're looking for red and pickerel. Probably gonna catch a load of spotted sunfish. Um, I got the little weedless rig you saw me feature in one of my other videos, this time with the Eurotackle Y Fry, so it's a little smaller. Just wish me luck. I already see fish, got like little sunnies, but we ain't interested in that. I'm gonna throw it up shallow, holy crap. We can do this, guys. Don't fling your phone out. Oh, we can do this. I can fish this. Ooh. Yeah, the water probably is a little too high. No harm, no foul. Just a bit of wet shoes. All right. Time to pee. Yeah, I'll try to fish this stuff. See what happens. Let's see. Yeah, the water. Ooh, it's cold. Ooh, it's a little too high, but it's perfect place. Wow. Cool spot. Water's too high. It was a nice shot. Let's see what else we can catch. Yep, what I tell ya, big old spots. Ow, ow, ow. Big old spots. See ya. All right guys, I just rigged me up a white one. We're fishing this on six pound fluorocarbon leader. This is really, tough fishing I mean low confidence the water's just too high the forest cannot look like this really if I want to do this it needs to all drop down into the main creek 
but there's still a chance. I mean, they live in here. They get spread out, and they live right here. It's tough. Very tough. Let's go check out Cross Street. This is what you would call blown out. Just a little bit, just enough. This is so cool, man. Crazy. Don't see much like this on my side of town. This is too swift, but I got one more option. That's great high water option. Uh, I guess full sand, let's do it. Found the pond. Wow. So perfect. Besides the fact that it looks damn near impossible to fish. I'll attempt to make my way around it and find an opening. Yo, how do people, how do people get stoves back here, man? Stuff like this is so crazy to me. Where did this come from? Nuts. No way. Is there a creek? Whoa. Dang. This is crazy. If only it was fishable. I've got to try. A fish, dude. Wow, I caught a fish, guys. Not surprising, it's a warmouth. See ya, dude. Oh, in a tree. All right, that's it for me, guys. That's it for me. I don't want it to be, but it's gonna have to be. What a cool spot. Dang. What time is it? Maybe I'll rig up again. It is 6.35, sunset is at 6.45, so. That's a clear indication that we should get the heck out. Because I don't have a headlamp and I have to leave the woods. Get out of here. Oh my God. Get the heck out of these weird woods with random discarded appliances. Like whatever the heck this thing is. Who dumped their failed business back here in the 70s? Weirdo. Ow. We out. We out.
just a funny place to start and end that type of fishing video or any fishing video. Ugh. Check this out. Look at all these, all these friggin' stickies. Stickies all over me. All right, guys. I hope you appreciated the video. Um, we're gonna start doing things differently around here, really differently, differently than everybody else. So this was kind of a taste of what my redfin pickerel missions look like. I'm gonna be editing a lot of stuff that's not fish catches into this video so you guys can kind of see what it's like. And then I'm actually gonna go into detail about where I do my hunts, where I get in for my information, and how I'm narrowing it down and how I still have faith that I'll find this fish even though I've tried for years in my local area. I really appreciate you guys watching the video. Sorry if it was a little boring. Get ready to get nerdy from here on out because I'm gonna start talking a lot though, but you guys take it easy. Have a great one. I'm gonna go get some food and take these damn brambles off, whatever the hell they're called. What the heck, look at this crap. Anyways, take it easy guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you.